I'm Peg Breen from the New York Landmarks Conservancy. We're at the Cathedral of St. John the Divine in Upper Manhattan for another Tourist in Your Own Town excursion. If you are looking for a variety of musical concerts, ecumenical events, or awe-inspiring architecture, this is the place. The sheer size of the cathedral is stunning. The interior could hold two football fields, and the workmanship is superb. The cathedral molds two distinct architectural styles. The earliest construction, which began in 1892, formed the altar, choir, and huge central dome in Byzantine Romanesque style. After 1909, the remaining plan was changed to Gothic design. And despite its size, it remains unfinished. You could spend an entire visit in the nave, looking at various memorials, modern sculpture, tapestries, stained glass windows, and the giant rose window. But behind the altar, seven distinct chapels honoring saints from different nationalities are worth examining. The cathedral offers regular tours, so you don't have to decipher all the styles and symbols on your own. Outside, past the 18-foot-high bronze doors, the cathedral close, or campus, includes a variety of other buildings and even cathedral peacocks by the garden. It's a space that seems far removed from the bustle of the modern city. St. John the Divine aims to be a holy place for the whole city. Tourists from around the world come here to marvel. Thousands of New Yorkers attend great musical offerings and impressive liturgical celebrations throughout the year. Come join them to enjoy an architectural wonder that rivals any of the historic cathedrals in Europe and unlike any other building in America.